Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's see what we have here today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, Aquarius, we're going to start with some channeled messages, do some oracle, and then get into the reading, okay? So Aquarius, um, I got a very interesting energy for you, okay? Now, mind you guys, these, these readings are intended to be love readings, but it could be, you know, friend, family member, business partner, take it as it resonates, okay? So Aquarius, I felt that there was someone here that is either jealous of your abundance or it's either like, okay, so if you're in a relationship, it, it has a feel of like maybe a gold digger energy, like someone that maybe is just with you because of the uh, uh, financial stability that you can provide. Okay. Or it is, you know, someone it, around you that is very jealous of your success. Okay. Very jealous of your success. Um, so let's just say if you're in a happy relationship, someone here might be jealous of this and, and you know what I'm saying? And you're not realizing that, or if you're, a, you know, someone is, you know, a gold digger or with you for financial, I, I feel like you, you're, you know, you didn't, um, see that in this person initially. Yeah. You didn't see that in this person initially. And now I feel like you're waking up to the fact of the truth of this person. And now that you see that truth, you're better able to protect yourself. Okay. So if there's someone that maybe is jealous of your relationship and is starting arguments, you're starting to see that and you're going to protect your relationship. If this is someone that's with you for financial or material abundance, you're going to catch on and protect yourself. Um, yeah, so the, I mean, that was the feeling that I got here. Okay, Aquarius, so let's go ahead. For some of you, for some of you, it could potentially be a father figure that says something that wakes you up to the truth about a person. Okay, so let's see here. Your hard work is paying off you and your loved ones are safe. Okay. So Aquarius, I feel like you've worked really hard for whatever it is that you have. Now guys, I want to make one thing clear in readings like this. You don't have to be a millionaire. Aquarius, you may be busting your butt working two jobs just to have a one bedroom apartment and a little broken down Toyota Corolla outside. And if you're dealing with someone that doesn't have a place to live and doesn't have a vehicle, you have abundance to somebody like that right okay so when i say gold digger it doesn't have to be that you're a millionaire and you know buying this person a ferrari it could just mean that hey listen you've got a little bed to sleep in you've got food in the fridge you've got a car to get you from a to b and that's like for someone who's got nothing you're rich you see what i'm saying so Aquarius, I feel like you are working really hard for everything that you have. Everything. Nothing has been handed to you. Okay. You've and and you know, me personally, I, I you know, have, have been in relationships with Aquarians, and Aquarians are very hard workers. Very hard workers. Okay. So I feel like, you know, nothing that you have was given to you. You you've earned it. Okay, you've earned it. Um but still there's people that are trying to take advantage of that, okay? And with you and your loved ones are safe, Aquarius, I feel like you work hard to make sure that, you know, you and the people that you love are taken care of, okay? Um, envy, Aquarius. There's someone here that is very envious of... Aquarius! Oh, my Lanta, look at this. You can't make this up. There is someone here that is very envious of what you have, and this is a very bad attachment. And Aquarius, I, I feel like you didn't see it. I feel like you just didn't see it. So this is either a friend, a family member, um, you know, someone that you're dating that, you know, wants what you have. And with the sun card, hello, wake up call. You know what I'm saying? Major wake up call here, Aquarius, okay? You're starting to see someone's true colors here. You're starting to see someone's true colors. 
clarity, guidance, love messages here for Aquarius, please. We've got, yeah, Aquarius, I feel like you are, you know, in peace. You're, you're living good. You're having fun with life. I mean, and this is truly two cards that would represent Aquarius. You know, Aquarius, you guys are always the life of the party. You guys are always making everybody laugh. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you guys just like to have a good time. You guys don't really, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you don't have like emotional baggage. You guys kind of just live, let live, you know, uh, you know, so you have that very carefree spirit. Okay. So you're just not saying, I mean, look at how light and bright this is and how dark this is over here. Okay. So you're doing, you know, living your best life here and there's someone here looking at you, hating it hating it okay with discovery and status quo um you're about to find out what is behind someone's mask this is what what's coming in for you here aquarius you're about to see someone's true colors aquarius tell me about aquarius please tell me about aquarius please tell me about aquarius please okay so we've got soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. We've got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. We've got coffin, endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. And then we've got lightning, sudden change, shocking new, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. And Aquarius, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like you met someone. You thought you had a strong soul tie with them. You thought there was going to be stability here. You thought everything was perfect and good. And you're about to see this person's ugly. Excuse me, your ugly is showing. <laughs> like, you know, can you tuck it back in? Like, so you're about to see someone's ugly. And I feel like it may possibly, you know, Aquarius cause an ending. Okay, let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aquarius. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aquarius, please. Okay. So we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And playfulness in the reverse. Um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine in the reverse. Aquarius, this is not fun anymore. This is now not fun anymore, okay? Um, you're freeing yourself from this and leaving because this isn't fun anymore. Uh, I feel that with you deserve love, reconciliation, and past life relationships, some of you are thinking, man, I need to go back to my ex because they loved me better or, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, I thought they were bad. This is even worse. You, you see what I'm saying, type of energy? So let's see what we have here for my Aquarians, okay? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Okay. So we have the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups in, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Aquarius, <clears throat> I feel like you met someone new. Possibly in the workplace. Okay, possibly in the workplace. Um, doesn't have to be though. This could have been a third party situation. It could have been, all right. Uh, you may have already been in a relationship and, you know, met someone new. Doesn't have to be, though. I feel like with the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, there's a sense of, I don't think I should do this anymore. I don't think I should pursue this anymore. Um, with the Magician and the cards that I've been seeing, you might be dealing with someone here that's very manipulative. Okay, so someone here that's very manipulative. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about the Three of Pentacles for Aquarius. Three of Pentacles for Aquarius. The star card in the reverse. Aquarian energy. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. 
Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Ace of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Aquarius, I have to be honest. I feel like you're trying to work on something that isn't working. So your eye maybe started to drift towards something new. Okay? And I feel like you started contemplating. Now, I'm not saying necessarily cheating, okay? What I'm saying is, it's like, man, this isn't really working. Maybe I should, you know, maybe you started crushing on somebody or keeping an eye open for somebody. And Aquarius, this may not even be you. It may be someone else. It may be your person, okay? Um, but I feel like you're, you're making the, dis the difficult decision and trying to think of, you know, this relationship isn't making me happy. Should I cut it off? Would I be happier with new love? Okay. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Would, would I be happier if I went to go pursue new love? All right. Tell me about the two of pentacles here for Aquarius. Tell me about the two of pentacles here for Aquarius, please. King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel that someone is portraying an energy of confidence of like they have this together, but on the inside, they don't know what to do. Okay. And I feel like with the wheel of fortune, it's divine timing where someone is saying, don't pursue something. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't pursue something. And I feel like it could quite possibly be this new love that, you know, someone here may be tempted with something new, but this new love is not it's not what it seems. You see what I'm saying? I feel like with the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like there may be somebody here. Someone's having a crush, okay? So I feel like someone has a crush on somebody that they can't have because they're in a relationship. Somebody here secretly wants to pursue something. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, because they're unhappy in their current connection. Because they're unhappy in their current connection. And it's maybe it's this third party that has this jealousy or envy. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Okay, so here we've got the Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Oh boy. The Hierophant under the deck. Aquarius, I feel that this is the third party person. Okay, and I feel like with the nine of cups, someone here presented themselves to be everything that somebody wanted. But with the ace of swords in the reverse, it was a lie. With the three of swords and the five of cups, this person is going to hurt and disappoint. You're going to, someone here is going to regret it because with the hierophant here, you see what I'm saying? Someone here maybe is committed Aquarius. It's possible that someone is committed Now, hang on a second, Aquarius. This could also be an energy of this is the person that's unhappy in the relationship and they're wanting to pursue a third party. I'm not saying that this person is a third party, is in a third party. Someone here maybe wants to free themselves and go towards a third party. They're not quite doing it yet, okay? Um, this may be the person that, you know, thought that they were going to be happy in this relationship and they're not. Okay, this could be the person that maybe, you know, the, the main person in this commitment that thought that they were going to be happy, but they're not happy. And either is this person. So this is, it would appear to me that these are two unhappy people. Maybe you're married to this person. 
Yeah. Maybe you're married to this person, Aquarius. Uh, it could possibly be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or Pisces, maybe you're married to this person, or maybe for public appearances, you guys are at this 10 of cups, like everything looks good on the outside, but on the inside with the five of wands and the eight of wands, there's a lot of fighting here. There's a lot of fighting here. Yeah. Ace of wands, five of swords, um, five of pentacles. I feel like someone here has a fear that someone's going to leave for a third party. So there's a lot of fighting and nastiness that's happening behind the scenes here. Tell me about the nine of cups here for Aquarius. We've got the full card, Aries energy. Tell me about the ace of swords in the reverse. The nine of cups. Tell me about the three of swords. Three of swords. The Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. <sighs> Aquarius, I feel like somebody took a leap of faith to go towards a third party. They chose the third party. And they're going to be very disappointed here because they're realizing that the third party is only out for abundance. The third party is only out for money or for what you have. <clears throat> and now someone's saying, they're looking at the past saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I hurt my person. What was I thinking? I should have worked on my marriage. I should have worked on my relationship. I can't believe I let this person get in my head. They're toxic. All they wanted from me was money or for me to spoil them. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel Aquarius that, you know, someone here may be saying, what was I thinking destroying my home, my family, my marriage to go with this person who is superficial? You see what I'm saying? Tell me about, tell me about Aquarius, the challenge here. What is the, the challenge for Aquarius, please? The challenge for Aquarius. We've got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And we've got the Lover's card, <clears throat> Gemini Energy. So Aquarius, the challenge here is that uh, somebody here wants to let go of a connection because there's no love here. There's no love here. Okay. I feel like there's a connection here that's only good on the outside. It's only good publicly. Okay. But on the inside of the connection, someone here is tired of defending themselves. They just want to let this go. Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Um, Aquarius, I feel like somebody here wants to go back home. I feel like somebody here wants to um, go back to somebody in the past and say, listen, I'm sorry that I did this. Do you think we could make this work? Somebody here wants to go back home. Yeah, someone wants to come back home. All right, let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the outcome here for Aquarius. So we've got the star, oh, the star Aquarian energy and the king and queen of swords with the four of swords under the deck. Aquarius, apparently there is a relationship here that has gone cold and become very defensive. Um, and I feel like someone is rushing in wanting to heal that. Okay. Someone is rushing in wanting to heal that. A lot of swords here. Good Lord, all Aquarian energy. Yeah. I feel like someone here got tempted by a third party. They got tempted by a third party. And that third party was either a gold digger or was out to just, you know, get some form of a bun. They weren't in it for the right reason. They were in it for superficial reasons. And now someone wants to come back home and save their relationship. Okay. All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye, my loves.